Delhi Sultan Part 2 The Slave Dynasty 1206 to 1290 AD Kutubuddin Ebak 1206 to 1210 AD The first ruler of the Slave Dynasty was Kutubuddin Ebak He laid the foundation of the Slave Dynasty which ruled over the subcontinent for about 84 years He was the general of Muhammad Ghori and ruled over the territories conquered by Ghori in India. After Ghori's death, Qutbuddin began to rule as an independent ruler. He built the Quwwatul Islam Mosque in Delhi and started the construction of the Qutub Minar. Next came Iltutmish, 1211 to 1236 AD. Qutubuddin Abak was succeeded by Iltutmish. He is considered to be the real founder of the Sultanate. He faced many problems but dealt with them strongly. He suppressed many internal rebellions. In the east, he extended his empire up to Bengal. He was the one who completed the monument, Qutub Minar. Razia Sultan, 1236-1240 AD Razia's reign was short and full of problems. She was vehemently opposed by the lobbies of nobles. They opposed her as she tried to reduce their power and began taking major decisions without consulting them. Finally, the nobles revolted against her And as a result, she was deposed in 1240 AD. She died soon afterwards. Then came the reign of Giyasuddin Balban, 1266 to 1286 AD. Balban was the most powerful ruler of the dynasty. He reorganized and strengthened the army. He fought against the local rulers and defeated many of them. He also fortified the northwestern borders against Mongol raids. Balban was succeeded by a very weak king in 1290 AD. The rule of the slave dynasty ended and the throne of Delhi passed into the hands of the Khaljis. 